So what I think about Antonio Brown filing bankruptcy, somehow I'm not shocked or surprised because, I mean, with the with things that have gone on where he's been wild and saying stuff, it's not a shock or surprise. I think people are more caught off guard in this day and age when you were reportedly made $80 million. You were arguably the best receiver in the 2010s. You did win a Super Bowl with Tom Brady and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, not that recently, because we saw you sashay off uh, against the Jets and you never to be heard from again and the whole thing with the Raiders, but you were in positioning. I can't feel for modern day athletes who blow money or do stupid stuff. It's one thing when these agents pimp you and sentence, but it's another when you just blow card hard cash on frivolous things, you know, and you end up behind on child support, you know, forfeiting, doing all kinds of things. It's just not a good cohesive look. There's ways to minimize and handle your money. When it becomes a situation where everybody knows about it, it becomes a big time problem. But AB is not going to have a lot of people feeling sorry for him. Some people are going to think that he'll sell out any tap dancer and they're going to look at him with disdain. They're going to think he's been reckless and wild. They're not necessarily going to be wrong. You know, he's um, he's left a lot to be desired. And, um, you know, it's just a situation where you want to think good of the guy, but it's kind of hard to, he doesn't give you a lot to go on. But you just, you see a lot of these guys living large, buying cars, messing with them chicks for the streets, buying homes, clothing, jewelry, and they broke. And nobody wanted to be hard and lug down on their luck. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Because you, you know, it was one thing back in the day with Joe Lewis's situation. He was a Vegas door greeter as he was older. Sinatra did help him out. Some others did too. It's one thing with the past athletes because money and economics. But you have no excuse today with portfolios that you can invest and you can make stocks and you can buy bonds and have your money deferred. There's no reason for you to be living like a big willy when you don't really have that kind of show of revenue, especially when you're always getting yourself in trouble by being funny time with these teams. Because A.B. should have been a first battle Hall of Famer. He should have been on somebody's team being productive, not being, you know, deterrent. And so it's really a sad case of a guy who self-destruct. And this is not a good look. I hope the brother gets some money and some stuff goes his way again. But this ain't this ain't it. This ain't how you clap. It's not a good look. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about Antonio Brown filing bankruptcy once made 80 million. And this happened sadly. This ain't a 1974, 84, 94, 2004. This happened in 2024. This is even more sadder than then because you got to know better. Please like, subscribe, work with those comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share it if you like my peace.